And he's got so prophetic. England started day five on 52 for three, but were quickly in trouble when Morley Morkel got the wicket of James Taylor. In the very next over, Dane Pitt sent the dangerous Joe Root back to the dressing room. Then Rabada wrapped up the innings in spectacular style, taking four of the last five wickets. He even sent Johnny Bairstow on his way twice. The first time, the England wicketkeeper was called back after a no ball. But the very next ball, he etched the ball again, and it gave Rabada ten wickets in the test. And at 20 years of age, he became the youngest South African to do so. His 13 for 144 is second only on the all-time South African list, behind Makaya Antini's 13 for 132, which he took in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Rabada was named man of the match after England were bowled out for 101. His workload has created a big debate, but he feels he and his captain A.B. de Villiers are in the best position to judge. I wasn't telling him exactly how many overs I wanted to bowl. When he said I, I must warm up and get ready to bowl, I'd warm up and get ready to bowl. And maybe if I wanted one more or two more, I'd let him know. Or otherwise, I'd tell him, uh, let me just calm down for now. Or he would tell me to, to rest uh, when I wanted one more. So I think uh, everyone in the team managed all the bowlers very well. It was a much needed victory and despite a dip in his own form and a serious loss, the Villiers is confident going forward. We've got a long way to go. It's a bit of a rebuilding phase for us. We've lost a, a, quite, a, quite a few players in the last couple of years. And, um, but, but the guys that come in have showed a lot of character and showed us that they can take this team forward. So um, I, I think there's a bright future and we're looking forward to everything that's uh, going to come our way and, um, and all the challenges that's going to come our way. The One Day Internationals are next and it kicks off on the 3rd of February in Bloemfontein. Harry Wolf here, SBC News.